Hello everybody and welcome to something a bit different today. This is Lawn Mowing Simulator. It's just the demo, an early access demo, so there may be bugs. This is just a taster. This is just to show us what it's all about. The full release is going to be at some point in the summertime of this year, which I really can't wait for. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid to make this video. I'm doing this video of demo because I'm extremely interested in what this simulator has got to offer. It's certainly a really unique idea. So yeah, we're going to start. We're going to play with the tutorials. Uh, it's not the full game, as I mentioned. So let's just dive straight into it and see what we have to do, except for mowing grass and building up a, a successful business. Okay, so let's get started. In this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name, logo, and uniform. Okay, right, so company name, uh, Dags Mowing. That's what we'll go with. Okay, next we need a company logo. Now, we do have quite a few to choose from here. 12 in total. A really nice selection. I quite like that one just there. I know it's a leaf, but not to worry. Um, I suppose the grass <laughs> the grass logos would have been more fitting, but anything to do with the garden is, is always very good. Okay, the player appearance. On this screen you can customise your in-game appearance of your player avatar. As well as their physical appearance, you can change the colours of the company uniform and where your company logo is displayed. Okay, so you can see we've got the shirt, we've got the logo on the shirt, and we also have colour coding. So I think, well, to begin with, we've got the player name, player avatar. We are going to have, wow, you really do get a good selection. I'm going to choose 11. Now for the hat. I always like the colour green. So, yeah, we'll just tone it down a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I, yeah, I think that's good. That one there. So we'll confirm the selection. Logo placement, front only, back only, front and back, or no logo. Ooh, no, we need to have a logo. I think probably just on the front. We don't need it on the back. Uniform colors, right, so we have the primary color, and we have the secondary color, as you can see, on the out outline of the shirt. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anything about clothes. Um, right, well, to be honest, although it might be quite warm working, I do quite like the primary colour already. White is always going, but it does show up dirt. Could go in between. Actually, in between, it's not a bad, not a bad idea. We'll just try that with a different secondary colour. I'm not going to be on here for too long, don't worry. I guess we should stick with the green. That green. I think that looks okay. Again, let's confirm our selection. Okay, there we go. Lovely. So we have... Our player. This is us. Us working for Dags Mowing. It is Monday, the 1st of March 2021. So the grass is going to be growing fast pretty soon. Anyway, let's confirm that. There we go. We're very happy with it. We've got the name, we've got the logo. We have the player. Okay, start a company. Career mode. Are you happy with your company setup? Yes, we are. Select accept. Yep. Oh, test drive. Now you can have a company of your own. You will need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below to take it for a test drive. Okay, so it looks like we do have a huge list, but with it being the demo and whatnot, it's all going to be just fairly restricted. So we have the Steger Estate 2084H, and we have a Knight OFS-1. I actually have Stegas in real life. I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic machines, although I do have the Park. Not the Park Pro. I have the Park. Um, yeah. Really, really nice machines. I think what we'll do is we'll test drive the Steger and we'll use the Knight. We'll actually buy the Knight. Um, unless, of course, we can't. Maybe we have to uh, go for the one which we'll test drive. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, we do have all the information now, which is really nice to see. I'm guessing the Knight is going to be more expensive. But anyway, yes, we want to test drive it. Okay, welcome to the test drive area. Here you can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in conditions similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to use it. W, A, S, and D. 
and the mouse to look around. Okay, look at this. So we're at the dealership. We even have the licensed brands on the wall. Look at that. And yeah, I think we're in, in Great Britain here. It looks extremely realistic. Just look at this place. There is our mower, the one which we're going to test drive. Again, it looks extremely good. Okay. Black's lawn care equipment. Yep, got the telephone box. Uh, by the way, if you do see the mouse cursor on the screen, it is a known issue. It's going to be sorted out. I have confirmed that. Okay, so get onto the vehicle. Vehicle startup. Once you're on your vehicle, you will need to get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it started at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so uh, drive to the grass. With the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it. Uh, drive over to the grass and uh, you can start cutting. Lovely. Okay, so yeah, we have several camera views. As you can see, we've got third person view. Press V, we've got first person view. I was really hoping for a first person view, so I'm really happy about that. In case you're wondering, I have been aware of this game ever since it got announced, and I've been very excited about it since. So yeah, let's start the engine. Hold down Z. And there we go. So uh, yeah, I've been trying to perfect the uh, volume. Hopefully, it's not too loud. So we press E and C to change the height of cut. You can see we're currently set to 9, that'd be 9 centimetres. If we press E, we can drop it down. We'll probably put it to 5, that should be okay. And then, yeah, getting ready to cut. Once on the grass, you need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height and then engaging the cutting blades. You should only ever turn your blades on when on grass, otherwise you will damage them and affect their ability to cut. Yes, we don't want to be bringing up all the uh, the gravel. Speaking of which, it looks very realistic again. Okay, so this isn't actually a contract. We'll be moving on to a contract when we buy the mower. Okay, when a contract, you will be required to cut the grass to a certain height. Each contract will have its own height the grass needs to be cut to. So basically, the customer's requirements. Set your cut height within the range of 5 to uh, 6 and uh, cut 10% of the grass. While cutting, you can track your progress at the top right. The progress bar shows you how much of the required amount you have to cut. Grass cut at the correct height fills the white bar. And uh, yeah, grass cut too short fills the red bar. So it's going to be... Basically, we don't want red. Okay then. So you can see, we're mowing. Now, I am using a keyboard for this. Um, obviously, steering wheel support would be amazing. I believe you can use a controller. I haven't used, I don't have one, so I can't test that. But yep, yeah, we are mowing to a five centimeter cut. Let's just go into a different camera angle. So you can see we can get really close to the edges here. And you can even see into neighboring properties and it's actually got a lot of detailing. Look at that. All the detailing in there. Yeah, so I'm going to go for the night mower. Uh, not because I prefer it or anything. I think well, they're all equal, aren't they, really? But yeah, it's because I'm using a keyboard. The steering won't be quite as harsh. It won't be quite as noticeable. But yeah, you can see we've cut some grass. I'm not going to cut too much here, because we're going to have plenty to cut anyway at the customer's house. If we go too fast, you can see it's overloading it, and it will actually not give a clean cut. We're okay at this speed. We also have a fuel gauge. We can refuel it, we can change the blades. So yeah, let's just shut it down. We'll jump off the seat if you hold down Q on the keyboard and you can see we've essentially spent 23p of fuel uh, we can fill the fuel again by holding down E and you can change the cutting blades by holding down Q and have 50 pounds 50 pounds a time which is about right I think I paid yeah actually that's, that's such a very good price that's a very good price so yeah back onto the mower we'll put it back over here 
and we will uh, we'll buy the other one. <laughs> Just basically trying to show off both. But I'm going to do a full series on this when it's released, because I absolutely love it. I already know that. I've played it before. Um, yeah, so let's jump off. And we can get things sorted out. So I think I will just very quickly flick through all of the modes available to us, eventually. After completing the test drive, you can now purchase the vehicle. Or if you would like, you can test drive another one. Yeah, we're just going to go and buy the, uh, the Knight, as I said. This one here. So starting from the top, I'm not going to go through all the detail. It's just a quick, really quick flick through. Massive Toro just here. The Ground Master 3300. Uh, Proline H800. These are big. The Zero Turn uh, Z Master 7500D. So it's interesting that we do have petrol and diesel models. Uh, the Knight Lawn Mowers OFT, just there. The Skag Turf Tiger 2. The Steger Park Pro 540iX. The Toro Z Master 2000. The Skag Patriot 52. The Patterson ZTA1. Interesting looking mower. Uh, the Steger Tornado 6108 HW. The Knight Lawnmowers OFS1. And the one we just test drove, the Steger Estate 2084H. So, yeah. Let's buy this. Yeah, are you sure you want to purchase it? I do, yeah. There we go. So moving on to our very first contract. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up and you have a mower, select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for, for setup. Okay, so very nice. Look at this. All these fields. Lovely. Uh, so this job is worth £330 with a very low complexity. Uh, we can get reputation points here, 50 reputation points if done correctly. And here is the contract information. So let's confirm it. Let's begin. Once you select a contract, you can see information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you first need to assign an employee and vehicle. So yeah, today we are obviously the employee. Uh, contracts need an employee assigned to them to be attempted. At the minute, the only employee is you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're basically self-employed, but that will change as your company grows. Highlight yourself and then confirm the assignment. Okay, so we've got us and the vehicle. We've got our vehicle just here. And that is the overview of the contract that we're going to do. So, yeah, we have to check the ground first. We'll do that in a second. Make sure there's no debris. Recommended cut time, 26 minutes. It's currently between 13 and 20 centimetres long. It wants to be cut down to just five to six. So, yeah, I'm sure our mower can do it. As you set up and confirm contracts, their pin on the map will turn yellow, and the contract that you are assigned to will have a star displayed. With the first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to the location to begin cutting. Brilliant. So that's where we're going. Just there. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Is that a rocket on the lawn? It doesn't get any better than this. Rockets and lawnmowers. Oh, that's a very nice garden. Very nice. Okay, let's get cracking then. So yeah, ground check first. We need to make sure that we don't run over somebody's toy rocket. So yeah, there's a few things. We've got three objects. Look at that. That would have made a bit of a mess if we'd run over it. Right, we've got two more things. Ah. Oh. Yep. Don't want them on the grass. And fine. Is that what I think it is? Tasty. Right, okay. So we have checked the grass. We'll just quickly sprint over here. Just to say that we've done a thorough check. Return to the vehicle. This is a very nice property. We shouldn't really be roaming, but just look at the place. Wow. Ooh, animals. Ah, some pet carrots. Tennis balls. Wow. 
Wow, yeah, it's expensive. Look at this. Anyway, this brings us back to our mower just over here. They've got more land over here, look. Oh, a tractor! Vintage tractor. Looks like they might have horses too. Uh, right. I am deviating. With the ground check complete, it's time to start cutting some grass. So what we need to do, I think we should get into first person view, uh, is we'll obviously start the engine. It's always a good start. There we go. And we'll throttle it up. We'll drive off here. And then make our way into here. We need to lower the deck. So we're currently set to seven. We need to get this right down. I think five. We, we can do a really thorough cut with this. Right, your performance during cutting will affect how much money and reputation points you earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving, avoiding damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. So with this mower you have to press Q first and then we can start the deck up. You can see it says engaged bottom right hand corner of the screen and yeah trying to get close but I don't want to hit those flowers as I've said I've already done all these uh, well I've done a bit of uh, testing in this particular garden I've not done any other contracts and I mowed some flowers and I crashed into some cars and I've got to say it's really realistic if you hit the car it makes a really big thud if you mow the flowers it literally mows the flowers <laughs> and you uh, lose reputation. So I'm going to probably go round the outside of the entire lawn first. Um, you can see it's counting up the time it's taking and the progress. So far so good. And then I think yeah, the best way of tackling a lawn like this, because it is a very unusual shape, is to sort of separate it into sections. You probably could just keep going around in circles if you really wanted to, but that's not the way I would do it in real life do quite a bit of mowing. So yeah, it's basically like when I'm doing the farming simulator videos, um, go around the headland and stuff, give ourselves some space. But if I just put this into a different camera angle you can see, it's very maneuverable. It's also giving you a very clean cut. Just looking at the neighbour's property over there. Some extremely nice houses here. There's also, I think, a road. Well, there must be a road because that's the driveway. Just the other side of this wall. And there is traffic. That, that's why I'm not paying attention. I can see a head. There is a head the other side of the wall. It is a man. So we have pedestrians, we have traffic. There's even an orchard or something over there. With a great view. Right, so now I've done my peering over the wall. I'll try my best not to miss anything. I'll come back to those pieces I missed. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna just gonna go round the outside, then return, and I'm going up and down. So far, 23% progress. I just wanted to show you this. If you go too fast in long, thick grass, you can see how it's not cut it cleanly. It's only partially cut it. A good example of that. So it is very realistic, which I've probably mentioned a few times. This really is my kind of game. It must have been really tricky to perfect this grass. It's a really tricky thing to uh, get implemented into a video game. The way it waves in the wind, the way you cut it, Okay, so you can see it keeps going red. That is because I'm going too fast for that length of grass. Uh, I'm playing with the keyboard, so I can't really change my speed without taking my finger off the W key. But I have now gone around the headland enough times. These are little places that you might overlook. And not to forget, the complexity of this was just one out of five. So this is a very easy garden. It makes me wonder what it's gonna be like when we get onto the 
the five star ones. Very interesting. Right, see, so yeah, I've cut through the centre. I can now just go up and down. Don't want to miss that. But I would imagine that a time lapse of this would look quite good. Oh, that you see, I just crashed. I did also accidentally cut down a flower. And because this is the demo, and I really wanted to show off how realistic this game is, the simulator is, um, I will, at the end, after I've done a lovely job, cut some flowers, just to show you. We're almost there. 97%. I think you have to do everything, which I like. Sometimes it's good for a game uh, which isn't taking it too seriously just to give you a bit of leeway. But if it's easy, easy to see where you haven't been, then yeah, every single blade of grass should be cut. And if you are struggling, you can actually hold down the control key and it shows you where you haven't been. So that's quite a few areas. Ah, so there is a leeway. Interesting. Uh, so with the cuttings complete, you now need to drive back to the trailer to leave the location. If you have time, you can uh, use it to clean up any grass clippings you have left on the on the paths to avoid any cleanup fees. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, it's a great idea. Penalties to make you try even harder. Yeah, you can see I have missed quite a few little pieces. But, I'm okay. <laughs> I think, for the sake of a demo, uh, we'll leave it there. I'm just going to demonstrate this. I obviously wouldn't do this in a serious Let's Play, which I'm hoping to do when the full game is out. But say you were being careless and you accidentally went, whoops, I've just gone over there flower bed. That's what would happen. You'd mow the flowers and you would get a penalty. So that's cost us. Also, Hitting cars, not a good idea. Although it is possible. So yeah, disengage that. I think we should probably lift up the deck. Return to the trailer. Yeah, so everything is going to be having an impact. Like If you're being careless, if you just... Like you might be seriously trying to reverse up there or something. You're spinning around here. Whoops. You see, these things can happen. So yeah. You will be penalised for mistakes. Or intentional ramming. <laughs> right, so there we go. That's what it looks like afterwards. That looks beautiful. It looked nice before it was cut, actually. Yes, yeah, so I've missed a few areas. I wonder if they'll ever do um, actual trimming. Trimming the edges using a strimmer. One step at a time, though. Right, very happy with that. So, I think we're going to be shown some information about it. Yes, here we go. So, um, we have been paid, I think, £333.90. Looks like we have. Uh, so, ground check bonus, yep, for not running over stuff, that always helps. Cutting time bonus, £15.76. And, um, yeah, my collision's there. Flowers destroyed, £9 I've had to pay the customer. And collision's £8.50 hitting the car. <laughs> That's not good. Um, right, so yeah, you can see the information there about the vehicle as well, about the mower. Everything seems to be fine. Very good. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's press next. This is the vehicle garage. Here you can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, part exchange vehicle. That's interesting. And purchase new ones. First though, let's select your current vehicle. 
so you can maintain it. Okay, so yeah, fuel, we've used fuel, we've got a bit of wear on the blades. General vehicle condition is still very good. It is important to keep your vehicles well maintained and fixed. Ideally after each contract you should visit the garage, refill the fuel tank and fix any damage. You can see the status of your vehicle to the left of the screen. If your vehicle needs attention, see to it now before returning to the contract map. Okay. So um, yeah, you see we can repair things here, we can fill the fuel tank. Full refuel. Pretty cheap. Ah, so repairing the blades, that must be sharpening them. Full repair. Engine. Just do everything. There we go. So now we can see we've got one which has a complexity level of one and a half stars. Uh, more more um, points to be earned here, reputation points. Let's try it. So obviously we're the employee. Same vehicle. Uh, it's a general cut. They want to cut a bit higher than the one we just did, but it might be longer. Same time. So let's see this place. Oh, look at this place. It's another lovely location. Wow. Must be so nice to own a house like this. I see a frisbee. Right, enough of that. Let's get into it. It doesn't look too long. Yeah, it doesn't look too long at all. But we do have three objects lurking. There's one. What else do we have? I hope there's no more poop. I think it was poop. Oh, another rocket enthusiast. Lovely. And what else do we have? It must be something. Yes, I don't know exactly what would happen if you did run over one of these foreign objects. I've probably been stood right next to the other one. I'm not too sure where it is. Well, I've been wandering around. One of my viewers might have noticed what it was, but I can't see it. So <laughs> we're just going to begin. If we hit it, we'll know. I don't think it's going to restrict us. Right. Oh, it says they're automatically removed. I couldn't see it. I really couldn't see anything. It probably was a brown lump of something on the ground. Um, right, so. We can begin mowing. Let's get that deck height reduced. I think we'll do it to six this time. Press Q, Z, and we'll begin. So it's going to be about the same amount of time. Ooh, a bit of swerving in and out. This way you can accidentally catch the flowers. It's the garden path. larger road out there. Not sure if this road has traffic. I'm the sort of person who will just look at all sorts of random things. Like you'd think that you'd be studying everything within this playable area, but I'm sort of looking outside there, looking at all the amazing detail. It really is. I can't believe. For the areas which are out of bounds, it's just so detailed. Really giving an immersive feeling. There's only one thing really which would make this more immersive, and that is steering wheel compatibility. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll mow. This is actually quite a complex garden, really. I'll we'll drive around lots of things. And I won't be hitting anything this time.
We're two thirds of the way through. You can see where I've been turning too tightly. I have actually churned the ground up. This garden might be a bit wet, uh, and that's that's a penalty. So there's a few more things that I noticed while doing this, some more very realistic aspects. Firstly, if I was to go into some long grass and then back up again, it hasn't just removed a rectangle of grass, it's actually removed the right shape for the deck. So quite hard to see the deck. But basically we have two back blades and then one in the centre at the front. So the, the front blade enters the grass first. So if I just go into here, to demonstrate and then back up you can see we actually do have that shape the two side blades are behind the front blade not only that but if I switch the deck off and just drive through the grass you can see that I have flattened the grass we're leaving tire marks and because it is quite long that's now laid it flat so even if I go and mow it it's actually not going to be able to lift it all up. The deck can't lift up totally flat and long grass. So that is going to last for a little while. So you can see, I don't know how well it is picking up on the video, but my, my basically my tyre marks are still there. The grass is longer where we drove. I really don't know how well it's picking up. Basically you can still see the, the tyre marks because we've uh, essentially made it hard for the deck to mow. Okay, yeah, so just finishing off. We have just 30% left. Making good time. I'll get it finished. Still absolutely love... Well, I couldn't go off the could I in that time. Love this garden. So nice, look at that. That pretty much concludes it. We do still have 1.2%. So that'll be all my little missed areas which have been added up. Uh, we can leave them, as you've seen. There is a leeway. Uh, we can also view them. So if we hold down control, there we go, you can see where they all are. It adds up, because it is only 0.8 of a percent. see if there's a bigger area I've missed. Yep. When going around the flower beds, quite a few pieces. There we go. That's good enough. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's just lift the deck up. There we go. We'll put it back onto the trailer. But that is looking much better than it was, with the exception of where I've damaged the ground. It was an accident. Finished. And here is our overview. I think the time lapses do work when I do a time lapse. Well, it's not bad. There are mistakes to learn from. Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I, I failed the ground check, as you know. I destroyed a flower, I hit something, and I damaged the ground quite a bit, so £10.83 for new seed. Um, but yeah, otherwise, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm wondering, because that was a pretty complex layout, I wonder if the complexity is also about the length of the grass. Maybe we're going to have to cut down some real jungles of gardens. <laughs> like grass which is three feet tall, four, four or five feet tall. It will be interesting to see. Anyway, we're going to leave it here. I think, I don't know if that's it for the demo anyway, it, it seems very generous, 
But um, yep, rank two. Accept that. Ah, there we go. Thank you for playing the Steam Next Fest demo. Brilliant. So yeah, there we go, everybody. Absolutely amazing. Can't wait for the full release. I'm going to be buying it immediately as soon as it is available. Hopefully you like it. There is a, a demo, as I've said, on Steam. Check it out. The link is down below. But absolutely amazing as far as I can see. If it has steering wheel support, I would be ecstatic. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.